Well, friends, these are strange times and they seem to be getting stranger by the moment, don't they? Businesses have been forced to shut their doors and nobody seems to know when they will open again. And this includes the church. This is especially difficult on those special days we have become accustomed to gathering together. Like next Sunday, April the 12th, it's one of our most important days, isn't it? It is the day we remember Easter, a day of great celebration that speaks of an empty tomb that changed everything. And I know many believers are frustrated by the restrictions that have been placed upon the church. And you know what? That's good, isn't it? It's good we miss corporate worship. It shows the church is important. To have the doors shut without anybody caring? Listen, as a pastor, that would be so disheartening. But I also see a danger here we've got to avoid. I think we can get so hung up on traditions, you know, the we've always done it this way kind of thing. We've always celebrated Easter in a grand style. I love the Easter lilies all over the stage and the pastor always picks a short video about the empty tomb that is so moving. And we have had some great special guests. They come and they sing their songs. But now, we're just stuck at home. Well, here's the thing. Easter does not lose its significance or the reason we celebrate just because the church can't open its doors. The facts remain the same. Christ has risen. He has conquered death in the grave. And because he has, so will we. Now, for some context here, let's go back to that first Easter morning. You know what? There was no celebration there. There wasn't any well-known guest singer to share the latest hit. There wasn't even one Easter lily to spruce up the place. You know what there was? There was a tomb that had been sealed shut by those who had murdered our Lord. And there was a detachment of Roman soldiers to make sure nobody could break in and steal the body. But here's the thing. Nobody did break in. Jesus broke out. And when he did, Satan, death, and hell were defeated. The door to heaven had been thrown wide open to whoever would place their faith in Jesus Christ. Easter morning changed everything. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are next Sunday, celebrate that. God bless you. I pray that you'll have a blessed Easter.